Hey everyone. Okay, I did a little bit purple and then it was only on one side, so I did it today on the other side. See, that's when you have time on your hands and you um, go to Amazon and you're like, oh my gosh, yeah, I would love to have my hair like purplish then because I don't have anybody to cut my hair with right now. So if anybody knows anyone that comes to their house that would come to mine, I would greatly appreciate it because I just have no one. So it's just trying to style my hair as it goes through the awkward transition of getting longer. Um, I have been using Ritalin lately, which is an energy pill. A lot of people might know it because they give it to kids that have um, ADHD or ADD. And um, it gives me a boost of energy. It lasts for about two hours. It comes with side effects, heavy, heavy sweats, um, which I really, I really don't like. And I sweat a lot, even when it's not, like even when it's leaving my system. And uh, nausea and diarrhea, those are my side effects. But in all the studies they did with cancer patients, like so stage four cancer patients, like only 5% went off of Ritalin, even with the side effects because of the benefits of energy. And that Ritalin they give to stage four because you have to have extreme fatigue in order for the pills to work. And um, so anyways, it's the thing is it gives me two hours and then when it's leaving my body, that's when I get nausea and I can feel it and so it's timing. So if I waste my two hours, let's say watching a TV show, then like I've wasted those two hours when I should get up and shower and do things that require me to get out of my bed. And then if I take it in the afternoon, which I do, it doesn't work as well in the afternoon and it does give me more nausea, but it does give me a second boost of an hour so I can get about three hours of energy that I can shower, do my work for the store, um, be more engaging in conversation, um, and, you know, I haven't had that for so long because I've been just sleeping all the time. If I have something um, at night, like my family coming over or something, then I double dose, makes it hard for me to sleep. But um, I just, my energy is just falling. Um, every month it just gets, I get more and more tired and, I, you know, my family hates to hear that. And so I try not to talk too much about it with Al and, Zach and my parents and everything, but um, I can feel the difference. You know, a year ago, my energy was completely different. Now, for me to even socialize, um, I'm white for the day if I see someone. And it just, it's become um, managing my exhaustion has become more and more difficult as I, um, my body just gives out. My body just can't and my brain, and then I get confused easily when I don't have my sleep. And uh, so the Ritalin has helped me. It comes with the side effects. Um, and then it causes me to sometimes be emotional because I don't want to have to take them. I don't know how, I don't know how kids take them. I mean, uh, I mean, I, I like the feeling on it, but it's a weird, feeling I, I don't I don't know I don't know how to describe it it's like it allows you to do um to focus on one thing but you can't multitask when you're on them and it's harder to engage in social conversations so you have to really use it to have conversations with one person or maximum two people you, you focus on your work you focus on getting a shower you focus on getting out of bed but it's uh it's really strange it's a and they give it to little kids and I, and I just wonder, you know, if they get so used to how it makes them, but I mean, there's definitely some strange side effects that go happen in your brain. And I wish I was better at explaining them. I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand this because in my chronic cancer group, which I have every Thursday um, with about 20 women that are also stage four of different cancers. And I'm the first one to do this Ritalin test. So they're all anxious for me to be giving feedback and tell them how I'm doing because they they all deal with extreme exhaustion. But they're all scared to do the Ritalin because um, there is some nasty side effects. But um, so I'm like the test, the test guinea pig for the group. And, but I do love my Thursdays. I'm becoming 
more and more um, wanting to be with that kind of tribe. That's like a new group for me that's become people I have something in common with that is so unique to most people. And we talk about topics that you just wouldn't talk about with people outside that group because they just, it'd be hard for them. And they would just, all, you know, people just always ha come back and say, oh no, you're going to beat it you're gonna fight it you're so positive you're so strong but it's 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 just this group is different we know the reality even though we're positive and we're happy and we try to inspire we just we talk more about things that only this group could talk about and talk about without judgment um, about everybody's choices and um, anyways, it's kind of a strange group of us that come together and find comfort in knowing that we're all in difficult situations and we're all dealing with similar issues. One of the women that has been with us since the beginning, she has exactly what I have, the exact, like we have the exact diagnosis and she's kind of entering her later stage. And uh, it, it broke me up the other day. I just, uh, I had a breakdown. I, I just had never seen someone that's like me in the later stages and how she was talking about finding peace with it and doing her goodbyes and letting us know that she might not be on the next call and that it's okay. You know, don't be scared, don't be worried. Do you know what I mean? And her body's getting ready. Um, <laughs> Anyways, it's kind of crazy. These dogs, I'm sorry. Love to you all. Bye.